bear crop science is doing, and especially to help the no-tillers, is um, we're try trying to do everything we can to make sure that the chemistry that we have right now is viable within the next 10 years because bear crop science invests a lot of money into it research every year, but we also have to make sure that we um, manage the products that we have right now in the weeds to ensure that we have control until those new products come out. Uh, one of the things we're doing is a initiative called Respect to Rotation. And with, in Respect to Rotation, what we're really talking about is, is rotating crops, rotating traits, and rotating modes of action. The basic things you do, need to do for weed control. There's a lot of things that are new with fungicides this year, but um, with all the things resting on the farmers this year, one of them is really ensuring that they get the maximum return on their investment. What Bear Crop Science did this year, we've um, we did a lot of work over the last few years with Stratego Yield, and we're looking at early applications in corn. Um, over the last three years, if, um, in 2010 and 2011, we um, averaged a yield increase of about 6.8 bushel per acre on on 85% um, of the trials that we're on, on, on with farmers. Um, this year, what we found after the severe drought, even in those conditions, the average yields that came in in our trials were around six bushel per acre on an early application, and that's um, applying Stratego yield at growth stages from V4 to V8. What Bear Crop Sciences did to help the farmers with their um, decision-making tools um, and, and really getting down to what's the best solutions that they can do to improve their return on investment, we uh, introduced a new platform this year, um, basically web-based, but it's um, the Innovation Plus platform. In the past, that was really where we housed all of our grower rebates, but now we've taken it to the next level, and it's really a resource area where they can go in and get valuable information. We've got new features on the Innovation Plus website this year. One would be a My Rebate Calculator, where they simply uh, can run different scenarios for their farm and get um, what their potential rebate could be for their crops associated with our brands. But more importantly, we've taken it to the next level where we've got a return on investment calculator in an area called the My Yield Calculator. And there we house all of our data that we've collected over the last several years. And the farmer, simply through a click process, he can, he can um, click on the yield information, pull up the data that's for that specific brand or group of brands that we have, and then he can uh, um, input what what he would like, what he thinks could happen on his farm, so that he gets a real live return investment scenario for his farm, and that's what's mean meaningful for them. Um, really, it gets down to we have a rebate, but more importantly, our innovation is bringing yield to the farmer, and by using the My Yield calculator, they can run scenarios to see how their innovation is helping them. I get asked a lot at the trade shows about um, what's going on with Liberty and the Liberty Link system. Well, we did a lot of things with Liberty over the last few years. Um, one of the things that we're that Liberty's um, becoming more and more important to the farmers because um, there's the weed resistance um, to various classes of herbicides is becoming more of an issue. Uh, we haven't had those issues with with um, blue phosphate to act ingredient of Liberty. Um, so it becomes a very important tool for their um, management of the, of the weeds. And the best thing that farmers have been doing, they've, they've asked us about Liberty and then we, we tell them to make sure that they're talking to their retailers to, get, to secure their supplies of Liberty because it's in high demand. Because there's really driver weeds in the nation that's really causing some issues with the, with the resistance to other class of herbicides. And that, the one that really um, concerns me, especially for no-till farmers, is first of all Maresdale. It's a really um, important weed, and Liberty controls that, that weed. Uh, the other one that comes right to the top of the mind all the time is amaranthus species. And first of all, it could be water hemp, but more, as in the south, it's also palmer pigweed. And these are really aggressive weeds that can really um, cause problems on the farms because they, they, they really uh, go exponential in their population. Um, even within a year, because, up, because a lot of the plants are ver uh, the, on the amaranthus species are viable the same year, so it causes a lot of issues. But Liberty is a great solution for that control of that in the Liberty Link soybean system. Yeah, we really appreciate the no-till re 
uh, magazine readers for bringing Liberty as a no-till product of the year. And I think it's just because it, it does bring a great option of control to their farm. And let's face it, with $13 an acre soybeans and, or bushel soybeans and the rising costs on the farms, um, the farmers are um, doing everything they can to maximize their yield. And if you've got a product that controls weeds, you get to maximize your return on investment. However, if you're, if you're not controlling them weeds, five bushel yielding loss per acre on a, on a, weed, on a weed problem can be significant to an operation. We've um, helped the farmers with that right now with um, the Innovation Plus website, because it's got a My Yield calculator on, so they can go in and run re return on investment um, calculations for, for um, Liberty Systems, saying basically um, running an ROI scenario to say if they've got a weed resistance issue, well, what would it mean if I control that weed resistance issue with Liberty and actually get those five bushel or ten bushel per acre that I've lost and gain it back with a Liberty system? And it's, it's significant on a farm.